Welcome back to VTOP10 and today's video we're ranking the 10 Ike Bazooka Quarty Best Knockouts. Number 10. Ike Quarty vs Jorge Ramirez. On February 3, 1996, Quarty beat Jorge Ramirez by TKO in round 4 of 10 at Livoy's Parade France. Contre les cordes ou dans l'angle du ring, il faut qu'il puisse s'en sortir là parce que... Il avait gagné ce titre des Welter dans Phénoménal. Ouf, ça fait mal ça. Voilà. Ouf, la côte flottante. Il est vers Montero. Il va falloir qu'il soit très résistant, Georges. Il y a eu la répétition, ce qu'il a fait... Ne peut pratiquement plus bouger. Oh là là, le crochet gauche et là il cadre bien. Et il ne laisse aucune initiative oh. à son adversaire. Gauche euh, à la face. Gauche. Oh. C'est vrai qu'elle peut être terrible la sanction. Oh. Oh. Il va la régler. Voilà, il en dû. Heureusement il y avait le gant qui était ou qui sont donnés parfaitement. Du grand pureté au oh. combat. Des coups de cette Le, le bas il a trop mal et finalement. Bien. Number 9. Ike Hardy vs Steve Barreras. On October 21, 1992, Hardy beat Steve Barreras by TKO at 250 in round 3 of 6 at Riviera Winchester, Nevada. Number 8. Ike Hardy vs Andrew Murray. On August 23, 1995, defending WBA welterweight title Hardy beat Andrew Murray by TKO at 0.44 in round 4 of 12. <laughs> Number 7. Ike Hardy vs Carlos Boerquez. On December 3, 2005, Hardy beat Carlos Boerquez by TKO at 2:12 in round 10 of 10 at Mandalay Bay Event Center, Paradise, Nevada. Uh, yeah, they jab from the same side, and both guys would be trying to take the other guy's jab away. Hard right hand, and now a good jab and straight right hand by Boerquez. Now, because this is the fight he wants. He feels as though he's weathered. Good luck to the body by Bohorquez, and now he grins back at Corte as they trade again in the middle of the ring. Corte uh, landing now comes back with his own body shot and hammers Corte with two overhand rights. However, it hurts him when he fights an opponent such as this guy because this guy here is not the best place for him, but he does feel as though. But, so, if the fight were stopped because two left hooks to follow. Straight right hand again by Corte. You have to do with a little fight. Is now. I think he's worried about the Oh, that was a tremendous right hand inside by Corte. Round for Ike. Oh, look at the right hand. Oh, really? Uh, Hopkins is because round eight of Corte Bohorquez is exactly one of the most crowd-pleasing fighters of his era. Oh, 
brilliant left hook. Another perfect jab, left hook, not a lot. But several people, Larry, complained to me about the stoppage by Richard Steele in Portland a couple weeks ago. Now it's time. Number six, Icardi versus Young O Park. On March 4, 1995, Defending WBA welterweight title Cordy beat Yoon O Park by TKO at 2.55 in round 4 of 12. Solana, España, durch Alberto Cortes aus Argentinien und dieser Fight war derjen, der es herausfordert, überhaupt nicht beeindruckt. Als Vorbereitung, dann die Rechte immer öfter daher. Jawohl. Number 5. Icardi vs. Vince Phillips On April 12, 1996, defending WBA welterweight title Cardi beat Vince Phillips by TKO at 231 in round 3 of 12. And you see guys left to have a long life. See that left hand jab, and that jab will bust you up. Vince, he's got a Down goes Phillips off. That Corte landed. I got you. Yeah, but Corte... The effects of the punch. Another good right. The Vince Phillips corner told him right. Snapping Forte's head up with the uppercut. And Forte, no matter what happens, he comes back. Forte backs Phillips up with the right hand and seems to have wobbled him. Yes, he's got him a little bit rubber leg. Begins to open up. Phillips holds on. He's going to go down right here in a second. Hasn't stopped wobbling yet, but he will in a minute because he's not going to last long. This is over. Number four. Icardi versus Bobby Butters. On February 4th, 1995. Quarty beat Bobby Butters by TKO in round three of eight at Palais des Sports Castelnau de Gers, France. Autant que sur son visage, eh bien, il ne se passe jamais. On ne s'aperçoit pas. Oh, écoute, qui travaille. Oui. Docteur a certainement eu très très. Ça peut être envisagé à grand en du dernier coup pour cadrer. C'est bon. Facilité. Voilà droite, j'allais lire, là voilà. Quarté, bien qu'en boxe. Elle l'a emporté à deux reprises au coin. Oh là là, ça fait mal. Oh. Butters doit faire des choix maintenir dans cette troisième reprise. Se demande déjà s'il faut continuer. Dans son point d'ailleurs, on a demandé à l'arbitre d'interrompre le combat. Voilà, on arrête. Number 3. Icardi vs Alberto Cortez. On October 1st, 1994. Defending WBA welterweight title Quarty beat Alberto Cortes by TKO at 2.03 in round 5 of 12. Intentaba lo que parecía imposible. Derrotar frente a Fernando Vargas puso el punto final y no ha vuelto a combatir. Y te recordarán todos los buenos aficionados. Hay Cortés hizo un combate memorable con gente. Pues lo habían sido especialmente el último recién de Fernando Vargas. En esta ocasión, el buen boxeador argentino, Argentina. El 24 de septiembre de 1963 podía traerle serios problemas con un hombre tan perro como todo título mundial pactado a 12 rounds. Cuando le decían no te quedes quieto, muévete, márchate, no te quedes auténtico recital. Ante este voluntarioso parche de las cuerdas le están indicando que se agarren las cuerdas, pero él no te quedes, no te quedes, vete al centro. Le están indicando desde su esquite. Y este pues observen, ahí saca las manos incluso, de forma un tanto desmadejada, ahí le ha hecho. El combate ya estaba cantado, permite el árbitro que nuevamente ataque a Icuartey. 
se acabó. Number 2. Ike Cordy vs. Ralph Jones. On April 18, 1997, defending WBA welterweight title Cordy beat Ralph Jones by knockout at 108 in round 5 of 12. And that's not an easy thing to do. Capable of changing it. I don't know. I've seen Florida change this. This is Quarte presses the attack behind the jab and the straight right hand. I was a very good finisher. And Tigers, that was another body shot, Larry. Yeah, good straight. Oh, there you go. First knockdown. Back at that point. Now I think you see why those guys don't want to talk about fighting Ike Quarte. I'm not sure that those other guys couldn't do just as well against uh, this fighter. I'm sure they could. Second knockdown. Can use that to advantage. If the weigh-in had been around noon today, he couldn't have done that. Well, the referee, the referee, if he's as good as his word, Pat Byrne. The Jones corner. That Corte is tired, but I don't see it yet. Turn around. You wonder how much more Joe Cortez wants to see. Well, it's about... As he fires back at... A good tactical fight here. Well, you saw Jones celebrating ecstatically. King Corte, that he had made it that far. Corte Park. Double right hand by Corte. I recommented on it. It was rampant that the way it, that he was 150 all week. More left right combinations by Corte. Jones in more trouble than ever before. And he's going to stop. Number one. Ike Cordy versus Crisanto Espana. On June 4, 1994, Cordy beat defending WBA welterweight title Crisanto Espana by TKO in round 11 of 12. Espana. The second, yes, I'm about to say. Good right again from Cordy. Cordy, though, looks incredibly dangerous. Nice right over the top. Nice left hook from Corti. Nice right over the top from Corti. Takes one note. Like that, and that. She's actually getting through here. Oh, nice double left hook from... ...here in round nine, but uh, Corti certainly... This will be decided by three judges at the ringside. Oh, goodness me. Oh, no, it's all over. So, great moment there for Quarty. Can he repeat it? Is his father over that? He's not. He's still in trouble. So, Crisanto's father getting hurt now. The towel's coming. Matches to the floor. So, we've got a new WBA motorway champion. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.